All right, it is called March Madness, and it is on. You know the drill with uh, the NCAA and the reach to become who is going to be the new NCAA basketball champion. Uh, it's an eight and a half billion dollar business right now. Thirteen billion dollars in lost productivity, though, because everyone at work is is, is, is filling out bracket sheets and all the rest. Not me, mind you, because uh, I'm, I'm here to report on it. We've got Fox News contributor Kat Tim. We've got Turning Point USA's Rod Smith. And last but not least, radio host sensation, uh, Mike Gunzelman. Uh, Guns, uh, yeah. you don't do this and gamble like that. Oh, of course not. I understand. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I couldn't believe that how it disrupts work. Oh, absolutely. First of all, March Madness should be a national holiday because whether you're a high school student or Fortune 500, no work is getting done. Those business out of, you know, out of work meetings, those people are at the Blarney Rock watching these games because really? it's, that, it's that big, it's that important. There's going to be 16 games on Thursday, 16 games on Friday. Nothing's getting done from noon on. I mean, it's huge. Then you add the betting aspect to it. One in five adults will be betting on That's these illegal. games. Well, but why? Why do people bet on March Madness? There's no way to really know who's going to win these games. It's pretty random. You might as well go to an ATM, take out some cash, and just throw it into the sky. Well, That's look. about the... It, uh, the same thing you're doing if you it bet is. on these I, games. I think that people do it because they have this misguided love for their teams. Now, I, used, I went to Syracuse University for my undergrad, so I'm rooting for Syracuse every year. They break my heart every single year. But they also and make it every year. They also They're make it every year, year which uh, is great. But I remember being at the desk when I used to uh, work in ad sales, and I would have the Syracuse game in this window and another game in that window, so that there was no work getting done. It's actually interesting, all. though, because some Were companies... You ad sales yeah. for us? Oh, I was not. <laughs> <laughs> but some, some some companies actually blocked like Yahoo and CBS and ESPN, those websites during the week because so many people were spending all the time on their servers and on those websites. But now with an app, they can't do that anymore. It's so okay, annoying. But, you know, now they're trying to find out what you're doing. If it, they can, your boss can you know, trace you. They're, they're getting annoyed about it. Yeah, well, it's really hard for me as someone who does not care about March Madness whatsoever because it's all people talk about. People, Nobody wants to just come over and hang out and watch Forensic Files anymore. No. Everybody wants to go out to the bar but and you're, watch the basketball games. You're the one that will win the bracket because it's the person that doesn't know anything it's that always, goes that all, all the way. It is always the case. That. <laughs> that is always the case. Guys, I want to switch gears to what I've got you here. Uh, in Newark, they're proposing something called Universal Legal. You've heard about this, where in this case, they would pay someone $400 a month. I don't know where the money's coming from. Right. I think they're kicking around like some sort of a, a, a services tax to pay for it. The, the idea being that they will be productive and it will, it will pay for itself. What do you think? Yeah, how is it going to pay for itself? <laughs> the, you, if you're requiring someone to do work, then that'll pay for itself. But yeah. just giving people money to do nothing, I don't understand how this is a thing. Finland tried it, and then they said, well, oops, they, they there's something in the water. There's with something the, the, water. The, the candidates are all pushing it on the left. They're all pushing it. It's, it's this move towards socialism that they're all right. going for on the left. Universal basic income does not work. They tried it in Finland. Just Doesn't like that said, it work. They found that people were... Finland is not newer. Yeah, it's not. But they found <laughs> out that people were, surprise, surprise, less likely to work when there is a universal basic income. I think it's a really bad idea. I think that taxpayers are going to be footing the bill, and I just don't think it's going to work. I just don't think it, that anything works in the city of Newark. I mean, time and time again, nothing good is in Newark. Right? Oh, don't, don't, don't say that. But you know, all the major, I think all the prominent Democratic candidates like some variation of this, right? Yeah, absolutely. And it just shows how far left the Democrats Democratic Party has really gone. If you could imagine in the past that people talking about this, they would have said, oh, this is crazy, this is socialism, but socialism isn't scary to a lot of people anymore, and that's scary to me. Well, if you don't call it socialism, right? That's the key. Well, you all know that socialism didn't work before because nobody else in the history of Earth has ever done it right. So that's what they're all trying to tell people. Right. right? You know, you're right. That's but they're going to do it right this time. Bernie Sanders has said just yeah. almost that. I'm not for socialism. They're all just all right. pandering. By the vote. way, yeah. uh, while I've got you here, and some of you even younger than millennials, but Three out of five say life is more stressful for them than ever. Oh, it, and maybe it's because <laughs> of the whole bracket thing. Because oh, of March Madness. Yeah, we've got March Madness. Yeah. We've got social media. We've got socialism. I've, we've yeah, got I've left restaurants. Well, so, that, so, yeah. so do people my age. Yeah. We deal. I've left restaurants that did not have Wi-Fi because I needed my phone fixed. You know what I mean? Are like, you like, kidding yeah, me? You, you constantly you got kicked out of that Starbucks. Thing. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Or, or the bar. <laughs> you see the I, bar. I think there's something to be said for the fact that millennials are so connected and that we're always on social 
social media. That is one of the things that's stressing us out the most, I think. But you okay. liked you a didn't group have of to, friends You didn't people used to have it. to know if, you know, your ex-boyfriend just got engaged. Now you know. Right. Now you know all of them got engaged. Yeah. Now you know that, oh, maybe you weren't invited on that vacation. Why wasn't I invited it, on that vacation? Is, you didn't used to have to worry about that. Yeah. Serious wounds here. In love. It's, it's if cheaper if than therapy. Yeah. So. If you're a millennial and you're listening to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez telling you that the world is going to end in 12 years, then obviously you're going to be a little bit more stressed Very out. stressful. Life these days is very tough. Yes. Yeah. But is tough. it, do you think it's more stressful for you guys than it was, let's say, for my Oh, generation? absolutely. Social media is really tough. Yeah. If I, if I was a teenager. I'm so glad right we now. didn't have social media yeah. when I was yeah. your guys' age because I, I think it's harder I for no sure. friends that it would have been rubbed in my Sometimes face. Sometimes yeah. really tough things happen, like you post a selfie and it doesn't get that many likes. Tell me. That's devastating. devastating. But Life heartbreaking. Altering. Right. <laughs> I think that a lot of times, like, companies want more and do less for millennials. I think that we're mm. kind of in that world right now, and I think that that is a lot of the reason why. You should just quit that. whining. <laughs> Maybe so. Maybe I'll so. do it here. <laughs> all right, now they're going to all hit me. Hi, I'm Greg Gutfeld with Emily Campagno, Juan Williams, Jesse Waters, and she swims laps in a shot glass. Dana Perino, use that one. The five.